Hello, I'm Seamus Dunhu of Eve University. Today is Tuesday, March the 13th, 2012, and Crowd Control Productions has just pushed Crucible 1.5 to the Tranquility server. CCP has also introduced the new launcher, which changes the way, at least for me as a Macintosh user, it changes the way that I have to configure my multiple EVE Online clients to run them at the same time. I should point out, by the way, that this video is intended specifically for EVE Online players who play with multiple accounts on a single Macintosh. If this doesn't describe you, you're probably not interested. Alright, so the way I've set up my clients, I had I downloaded the entire full client today because the patching process kind of borked my clients. So after I downloaded the whole thing from scratch, uh, I duplicated it, and then I renamed the two files. So one of them I renamed Eve TQ1, the other I renamed Eve TQ2. And what I did next was I right-clicked on the first application, Show Package Contents, and you navigate to Contents, Resources, and there's another Eve Online in your Eve Online. You right-click and Show Package Contents again, and you would navigate contents info.plist right click this you open with text edit and you want to look for a string called key cf bundle name all right and you want to change the string to something whatever you want i name my i changed it to eve online tq1 so you close this close that, save the changes close 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 you go on to the other application you do the same thing. Right click, show package contents, you navigate to contents, resources, eveonline.app, right click on it, show package contents again, contents, info.plist, right click, open with, text edit. And again, you look for key CF bundle name and you change the string to something else like eveonline TQ2. All right. Save the changes, close the file, close the window, close the window. You are now ready to start up the two separate applications. Start them up at the a few seconds apart, of course. So I'm going to start up one. I'm going to wait for it to start up. Hmm. All right, and there's the login screen. By the way, I'm deliberately not recording at my full screen's resolution. I usually play at 1920 by 1200, but I'm only recording 1280 by 800. So, command tab, go back to the finder. You can now double click Eve Online TQ2. Click play. Oh, and by the way, if you have the Spaces feature turned on under in your System Preferences, under Exposé and Spaces, you can drag the two windows into separate spaces. If you've never seen Spaces before... Uh, let me pull up my System Preferences. So... You go into System Preferences, you go into Exposé and Spaces, you go to the Spaces tab, you enable it, and show spaces in the menu bar, and you can set how many rows and columns for how many different virtual desktop spaces that you want. And the way I do it, at least, I don't have anything to activate or deactivate spaces, or to switch between spaces directionally. I just switch directly to a space with, number, with option number keys. But you can also set it to be command and number keys or control and number key. Or is that shift? I think that's shift. So shift, command, and option. So I access the spaces by option one, option two, option three. I'm not going to demonstrate that in actual use because I think that might cause Snaps Pro 10 to hiccup. But yeah, I use spaces in combination with my two EVE Online clients. So those are the instructions, and I have the two separate EVE Online clients running at the same time. So I hope that clears things up for my fellow Macintosh users on how to 
get multiple clients working uh, with the new patch. Thank you for watching.